Well, the cash in tonight's third place game in the boys bracket between the Silo Rebels and the Yellow Jackets. Joe Atkins here to bring you the action. Silo Rebels is there rated number 20. The last three days are going to be ranked 75. And a few less games because the football season lasted so long when the Saints are going to be here. So Joe, she's got to get going. Deep three, count it. Carter Parker. The senior hits from way out. Pettis going inside. Tough to stop him, the foul will go on Connor Cordell, it's his first. Very good post up that time by Pettis, getting deep post position. Forcing the defense to have to foul, shooting two. If you're siloed, you're going to have to either push him off the block and do your work early. Otherwise, he's just a load on the interior. I was incredibly impressed with him this football season. He played the defensive end position for Fairview and was almost impossible to block. Well, if he keeps that post position, he'll be almost impossible to stop on the yeah, court as well. Right. That's a good point. <laughs> Caden Pettis. Gets the free throw, 5-3. Parker wants to shoot again. Uh, got some confidence after making the first one. Nice save and hustle for Silo to retain possession. Parker up in the lane and gets the nice roll. Carter Parker. Carter Parker much more aggressive here today as he's starting off with a quick five points for Silo. Converge in on Pettis, and there's a foul called. Bernard catches, passes to the corner, Martins misses. And Silo got a little fast break going the other way. Three ball is good by Connor Cordell. And it's now 10 to three. The Rebels shooting a little better than they did yesterday. Rebels shooting much better in the first half this, in this, this outing tonight. Getting off with two quick three point shots. To the basket, Charlie Gardner. That's the fourth player for the Rebels to score. And we'll take a quick timeout here, 12 to three. Silo off to a good start against Fairview. This is game time. Neptune Game Time creates a high energy game day atmosphere that your players and fans will love. Every song in our database is 100% lyric safe, which means you can stop screening music for good. 
GameTime also provides custom messaging to help you promote your upcoming events, concessions, and event-specific announcements. And it gives you the opportunity to sell sponsorships on your station that will generate revenue for your athletic department. Amp up your game day with GameTime. Welcome back. Mark Rogers, Joe Atkins here. The Cashy Tournament, County Line Tournament. Silo comes out in a little 1 2 2 pressure. Yellow Jackets have no difficulty breaking it. A nice pass to Reed Martins, and he finishes. Very good job by the Yellow Jackets that time, attacking the pressure and initially attacking and getting a score before the defense could get there, could get set. Proctor into the lane, and that's going to be an over-the-back foul or contact. Charlie Gardner fouls Reed Martins inside. Pretty good game of the uh, third-place girls contest between Cashin and Varnum. Varnum defeated Cashin by three last year in the consolation bracket, and Varnum wins by three this year against Cashin in the third-place game. Soft touch in the lane, and the bucket goes for Austin Houck. Fairview has seemed to solve this half-court trap that the Rebels are trying to put on them right now, getting back-to-back -back baskets. Yeah, 12-3 to three when they call the timeout, and you're right. Deep three is off. Jackets got out-hustled for that offensive rebound. Silo will keep it. Bowden Miller checks in for Fairview. Hauk will go to the bench. Proctor. Cordell fakes the three. Proctor gets it back in the lane. Gardner drives, and he is fouled by Pettis. Two free throws coming up for Charlie Gardner. Got the first. I don't know who has a more impressive entourage, the silo cheer squad or the Fairview basketball team. They're, <laughs> they're about 20 deep <laughs> on the bench for Fairview. <laughs> I don't know if it was a budget issue, Joe, at Blackwell or not, but, you know, we only had a limited amount of suits. <laughs> uh, and so some of the dudes that were practicing didn't get to suit up for every game. But hey. at, at Fairview, it's amazing. They've got they a ton go of guys out for basketball, and there's a lot of them suiting up. Well, we know the motto, strength in numbers. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Tale of two styles here. Silo appears to want to play at a much – faster tempo where I feel you will be much more patient and want to get the ball and work the ball inside. Missed shot in the lane by Britt Strader. Silo has the rebound and coming the other way. Kyler Proctor in the lane. Little rainmaker, no good rebound. Goes to Fairview. Bowden Miller. Bernard has it stripped. Fight to get it back. Can't get it. Cordell comes away with it. Kyler Proctor, nice cut and spin move. He's going to get fouled and go to the free throw line for a couple. Proctor is always very aggressive in getting to the rim. He creates a lot of offense for himself and for his teammates with his ability to drive. Proctor has three. Bobby Wheel, the head coach for the Rebels. Proctor gets them both to go. Sixteen seven.
probably won't see this matchup very often, if ever. Again, these two teams are in different classes, and it is 243 miles from Silo to Fairview. Reed Martin missing the first layup, getting the offensive rebound with the putback, drawing the foul. Not many times it's good missing the first layup, but Martin's is rewarded that time. He's got five. That's the beauty about some of these tournaments in this county line tournament at Cashin really is a good one. And uh, the girls bracket, we've got a great matchup. It's one of revenge from the state championship in the final. Silo eliminated Dale from the state tournament a year ago. Dale will have payback on their mind tonight. Good rebound in traffic for Strader. And Strader's going to go coast to coast. Nobody in there to check him, Joe. Gets his rebound back. And it will be a jump ball. Possession arrow stays with the Jackets. Substitutions in the game. Carter Parker is back in along with Hayden Roberts. That time the defense was probably saved a little bit as no one stopped the ball. He gets all the way to the rim, just missed the layup that time. A good break for the Rebels there. Parker thought about that deep three. He's already hit one. Proctor getting a rest right now. Good ball movement. The jacket zone's moving well. As... Nice pass inside, dropped in. Lost control of the ball. And forcing a tie will keep the ball here on Silo's end. Well, let's see, that's going to be a foul. Very good patience yeah. shown against the zone by Silo that time, getting a wide open lay for Layup just couldn't convert it. The foul goes on 22, Daxter Thomas, the freshman. Pettis trying to catch the ball in traffic. Ooh, well, I'll tell you what, that's a tough call. Thought the defense was moving. Pettis is a big fellow. When he turns around, <laughs> there's going to be some bodies cleared out of the way. That's a tough call right there because he's so big. You don't want to. You don't want to see guys get punished for for their size and girth. That time, not much contact, but that time the official was sold, going the other way. Pettis' is second foul. Ball will go out of bounds. Bowden Miller was over there trying to retrieve it. Silo student section is pretty, pretty loud here. Nice shot. That was a tough, high degree of difficulty for Brant Strader. Very good baseline drive that time, finishing with the reverse layup. Silo going to hold for the last shot. Charlie Gardner in control. Gardner. Going to be fouled. Be the fifth team foul on Fairview. Looks like we'll be shooting some free throws here in the second quarter. Runner, no. Tip, no. We've played one. Silo leads Fairview by a count of 16 to 12. We're back with the second quarter here from the County Line Tournament in Cashin. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. 
We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Welcome back to Cash and Mark Rogers, Joe Adkins here in the Squirtle Crew tonight. Second quarter about to get underway. Fairview was down nine early. They clawed their way back to five and have possession here on Ishan's night at the Cash and Tournament. Fairview got off to a rocky start, but settled in a little bit offensively, getting the ball inside, creating some fouls, getting some things in the lane to get back, back in this. No backside block off of the rebound, and Brant Strader comes up with his fourth point. That time the Rebels just mixed their box out and Strider's able to get a tip in. Also making an appearance early in the hospitality room. The famous Sarah Smith strawberry shortcake. Sheet cake, sorry. That was definitely not shortcake. Sheet <laughs> cake. Thank you. The talk of the town only for championship Saturday. There we go, Pistol Pete with the bucket. Kyler Proctor headed Oklahoma State to play baseball. Deep three, no. Oh, got it, nice play. Good hustle by Brant Strader to throw that ball off of Proctor. Very nice hustle right there. If you're Proctor, you just want to go ahead and grab that ball if you can, just to keep things like that from happening. He was thinking that no one can get a great hustle by Strader. Wide open three. Bowden Miller, one point game. Very good execution that time on the inbounds play, getting a wide open three. Alley oop, thrown up there, and a good job to catch, regather, and go up strong for the bucket. Charlie Gardner, team high six. Got a big collision inside, and the charge is drawn by Connor Cordell. That time, Strader attacking the basket. Maybe just a little bit out of control that time as the rep will step in and draw a charge. Deep three, got it. Carter Parker, his second three of the first half. Very nice pass that time from the Rebels as they use the skip pass to get a wide open three on the offside. Wide open in the corner, no. Backside rebound was there again. And it results in a run out the other way and a layup for Charlie Gardner and a timeout for Fairview in the process. Silo has pushed the lead back up one shy of its biggest in the contest, 25 to 17. It's a full timeout. We'll take it with them here at the County Line Tournament in Cashin. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Back to action here, 25-17, 549 to go in the first half. Silo once again changing up its defense, looking at a little half-court trap here. Cross-court pass. Miller, we've seen him hit it. He's got two threes to fill it up. 
Fairview's had a lot of success going against this half-court trap. But they've been able to score multiple times, getting two wide-open layups, now getting the wide-open three-point shot converted on all three. Fairview back to the man-to-man -man -man dispossession. Deep three, Proctor, no. Rebound comes to the Jackets, and they're going to run. Three on three. Into the corner. Miller, dangerous from that spot. Pettis to Miller inside. Nice fake. Count it. Miller now leads the way for the Jackets with eight. Good drive under control. Charlie Gardner now with 10. Goes baseline. Very nice play by the side low as they run the isolation. Play to get one-on-one -on -one for Gardner, and he converts with the easy, easy two. Well, that's a really nice layup to protect the ball from the defenders. Probably the first time that the Yellow Jackets actually struggled with the, the half-court trap as this time, the silo changes their defense to a 1-3-1 half-court trap rather than the 1-2-2. Two, two. A lot of changing up of the defenses. That was Hayden Roberts with the bucket. Robert, Jax Bernard, his dad Robert, is into the game. And a break for Branch Strader. Kick ball. Another substitute back up off the bench, Reed Martins. Getting a breather for Austin Houck. Pettis from the elbow. Count it. Very nice turnaround jump shot that time for Pettis. Both teams shoot a pretty good percentage here. Both teams seem to be settling in a little bit and recognizing the defenses, having a lot of success. Proctor fakes the three, steps back. Parker will take it. And Ramey has the rebound. Bernard going to go the other way. Three ball, Miller, no. First miss of the night. Turnover, ball can't. Martin sees it goes over his head. We'll go back the other way. That time, Ramey just got caught underneath the basket. It's going to fall out of bounds, just trying to get it to a teammate. Unfortunately, sells over his head. Proctor, once again, count it. Caden Parker now with 11. Parker is filling it up tonight. He's really Third looking for a shot. shot. Pettis throws it away. Rebels get it. It could be and one. Great body control. Charlie Gardner, we've seen him do it earlier on the ISO. Gets the steal and goes up. Going to have an and one opportunity here. The lead is now in double digits. Pettis that time thought his teammates was behind him. Not paying attention, lets the ball go. Gardner runs through it, finishes with the foul. Free throw's good. Gardner and Parker are carrying the Rebels. They've got a combined 24. Pettis going to fire it up. Pettis now finding the shooting touch. He's warming up from the mid-range, knocking down back-to-back -back jump shots. He hit three threes in the Thursday game against Cashin to propel the Yellow Jackets here into the winner's bracket. Proctor over to Parker. D3 
deep three. Oh, he is feeling it. He's feeling it. Another three for Carter Parker. What you see now is a guy just in rhythm. Now he touches it. He's feeling really good, feeling really confident. De defense, hands down, man down. Jumps up, knocks down another three. See a lot of people here from Fairview. A, a lot of people have got the state championship football gear on. Now, John Marshall, they wear the state championship football gear after winning the title? Yes, most definitely. <laughs> Bear pride, no <laughs> doubt. Martins and Bernard. Bernard gets all the way to the rim. Count it. Very good drive that time by Bernard. As Fairby using the skip pass again to make the defense rotate. Forces a closeout. Drive to the baseline. Easy finish. Shooting it and one. There is Pettis underneath. He started to heat up. That time, just to, although you have a block out, Pettis just too big and too strong as he wedges the, the, of, off the defender under the basket. Offensive rebound, easy put back. Takes up a lot of size in there. They're very athletic for a big guy. Yes, huge size advantage. And with the athleticism, Fairview, if they can control the pace, he can dominate on the interior. He's going to play a little point guard now. Brings the ball up the floor. Bernard fouled. Jory Allen gets him on the shot. He'll go to the free throw line, showing his athletic ability. I'm telling you, Joe, this is a uh, started as a freshman at a quarterback for Fairview and had just an unbelievable year this year as a sophomore, leading his team to a state championship. Now, if you're silo on these free throws, you're going to have to box out because Fairview, they're only shooting 53% as a team from the free throw line on the season. So it's very important that they box out on free throws, even though they're giving up so much size on the interior. Pettis checks out. Hout checks in. Bernard misses, but there you go, Joe. Great point. Free throws, unable to box out. Hout gets it back. So it's just like having a three-point play. Again, the Yellow Jackets just dominating on the, on the offensive glass, taking advantage of the size advantage and mismatch. Yeah, no matter how hot Silo is here on the offensive end of the floor from distance, they're able to stay in it. Inside, outside, it doesn't matter. Carter Parker, Parker is on fire. He's got 16 first half points. A foul, that is not what you want to see. If you are silo, Daxter Thomas is charged with the foul. That's going to send Fairview to the free throw line for a one and one. That time the fresh, freshman just a little anxious on defense, trying to reach in, gets goes across the arm, drawing the foul, allowing the Yellow Jackets to get to the line, shooting the one and one again. Connor Cordell checks in for Carter Parker. Carter Parker's like, Coach Wheel, you been watching this? <laughs> I got a chance to get one more bucket here in the first half. Another, Another offensive, rebound. offensive rebound. I was going to say, if that goes, the Jackets are really living right. We've reached halftime here on the Squirrel.tv game of the week. A good first half, 40-33 to 33 silo on top of Fairview.
Are you looking for a local, reliable propane provider? Earnhardt Oil and Propane has been serving customers throughout Oklahoma since 1971. Let them tailor a pricing option to fit your budget. Avoid winter price spikes with easy pay, steady, predictable monthly payments you can count on. Need more fuel options? They also offer bulk fuel delivery, DEF, lubricants, and supplies for your business, all at competitive prices. For reliability three generations strong, call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. What would you do if you only had one life to live? Well, that's kind of how this whole thing works. So bite off more than you can chew. Don't wait for someone else's green light. Go after what they say you can't. Oklahoma needs more doers, and doers don't wait. Get skilled, get paid. Oklahoma Career Tech. Kid Drug is second to none in Northwest Oklahoma. We are known for our beautiful home and holiday accessories, women's fashion, toys, candles, expansive kitchenware, and pampering bath and body lines. We offer lovely bridal and baby registries. Come experience our old-fashioned soda fountain treats, including the best malts and shakes you've ever tasted. Our pharmacy has been serving the Fairview and surrounding areas for more than 30 years. We accept most third-party insurance and have a complete line of over-the-counter medications, prescription drugs, and durable medical goods. So come see us at Kid Drug, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8.30 to 3 p.m. Saturdays. Jensen's of Fairview is celebrating 91 years. Currently, special pricing and financing available on select GMC and Buick units in stock. Hurry, as these units and offers won't last. Jensen's, the best prices in Northwest Oklahoma on your new and used vehicles. So come see why generations of customers have been choosing Jensen's to serve their automotive needs. Same family, same business, same location for nine decades. Go Jackets! Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. At Bank Central, our roots run deep with a heritage that began over 100 years ago in Alva, Oklahoma. Today, our legacy continues to grow, not only in Alva, but in the other communities we serve, Cherokee, Woodward, and Enid. With our outstanding personnel, the latest in banking technology, and a wide variety of services, Bank Central has the banking expertise to help you with all your financial needs. We're Bank Central, and we're centered on you. Member FDIC. When your business is agriculture, you want a bank behind you that doesn't cut and run at the first sign that there will be some tough times ahead. There are good years and there are always bad years. At Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma, we're here for them all. Agriculture, it's the backbone of our local community. We believe in it. We invest in it. We're here for the long haul. If you're in agriculture, it's time to let Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma make your best even better. Contact a loan officer today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma, the area's leading lender in agriculture. Why be a ranger? At Northwestern, with small classes, you can be seen. With over 40 programs from business to nursing, you can be career driven. With a campus home away from home, you can be independent. With over half our students graduating without student loans, you can be debt free. And with a mosaic of cultures, you can be you. Northwestern, success lives here. Scott Streller and team have been proudly serving the Edmond community for over 30 years. 
At the Stroller Agency, we take pride in offering premier service and the highest quality insurance available. Auto, home, life, and more. Our award-winning team has over 150 years combined experience to offer, and we're always working hard to make sure you never have to worry and always have peace of mind. So call or visit StrollerAgency.com today for your custom quote. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live. Recorded, on demand, all in HD. Easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies. Anywhere, on any device, perfect for the entire family. And easy to use. Enjoy Pioneer iVideo today. Electricity, that's what we've been about since 1936. Since then, Cimarron's mission of bringing electricity to its members has been nothing short of successful. But over the years, it's become more than that. It's about powering our neighbors' heating in the winter, keeping the lights on at the ball field, and keeping your phones charged to capture those special moments. We are proud to be part of your community. Thank you for being part of Cimarron for all of these years. Physical Therapy Central is proud to be keeping you in the game of life. Now with a convenient location in Kingfisher, get back to the game of life faster with PT Central. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. Is your spouse's snoring becoming an issue? Have you been told that you need a sleep study but refuse to go into a sleep lab? Then NextGen Sleep is here to help with our innovative solution for the evaluation, testing, and treatment of sleep apnea. NextGen is proud to offer this FDA-approved, convenient, and affordable solution that can be done all from the comfort of your own home. Call today to get started, 405-308-3324, or email us at information at nextgensleep.com. This is Game Time. Neptune Game Time creates a high-energy game day atmosphere that your players and fans will love. Every song in our database is 100% lyric safe, which means you can stop screening music for good. Game Time also provides custom messaging to help you promote your upcoming events, concessions, and event-specific announcements. And it gives you the opportunity to sell sponsorships on your station that will generate revenue for your athletic department. Amp up your game day with Game Time. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people. And our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt De Welcome back. Third quarter underway. Mark Rogers, Joe Atkins here on... Squirtle.tv, the game of the week. Silo up seven. We got the championship games coming up. Tom Nelson 
and Joe will have the call of the Silo Dale game in the girls, and I'll be with Tom for the boys championship between Tuttle. Oh, wow. On fire. Very good job right there for Silo. As Coach Wills comes out of halftime, immediately running a play for his, for his um, shooter, who's really hot today in Parker, knocking down another three-point shot. I believe that's his fourth on the night. Fifth, I think. Got it. Pettis inside gets the bucket for Fairview. The boys' final tonight between Tuttle and OCS is a big one. Both of those teams in Class 4A, uh, a uh, classification that is absolutely loaded. And seeding will be very important. OCS looking to get one of those very top seeds. They've had an outstanding season. Proctor in the lane is good. Very nice drive that time for Pistol. OCS is led by the outstanding six foot eight junior Luke Gray. Pettis clears the board. Oh, tough call again. Don't think that's right. Pettis. Tough call there for Pettis as he just turns his shoulder. Unfortunately, just too big and strong. That time, a lot of times in games like this, you see a guy go to the floor hard, the ref. Feels like he has to call something. You see a big guy like Pettis, you reward the defense that time. So, yeah. Silo gets a break that time. I, I would think, again, if you're if you're Silo, any time that Pettis is moving around in there, guys would go flying. Oh, why not? Heat check. Short. Deep three. Pettis misses. Pettis charges back into the lane. Lucky. Not a foul call there. Proctor dribbles to the free throw line extended and won't get the roll. Pettis with the rebound. Bernard drives the bucket. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Cordell. Gardner to the basket. Nice layup. Gardner's been really good around the rim. He's got 15. I'll tell you, Mark, this backcourt has played really well today with Parker and Gardner as they, they've combining for 34 points in this game. Maybe, a, and there's another steal stepping into the passing lane for Gardner. Gardner draws the contact. Good job by the officials on a no call there, but you're right, Joe. This is a lot better performance by Silo today. You give a lot of credit to the Tuttle defense yesterday for keeping them off of their game? Much, very much so. As we know, Tuttle, one of the top teams, in, in as you spoke in a few seconds ago in 4A and one of the best teams on this side of the state. Um, much more athletic as as I think Silo is able to, their pressure has really sped up this game and they've been able to get into their tempo. Much faster pace than they played, they were able to play yesterday. 36 combined points for Parker and Gardner. But they really have, I think no matter the competition, played better today. Three, who's that, hit that shot. 22, Brody Miller. Again, another underneath out-of-bounds execution for Fairview, getting the easy lay-in. Jump ball. Bernard, the wing. Straighter. The ball goes out of bounds. Fairview will inbound. Nice pass. Bernard threw at the feet of Pettis inside there. He's got to be careful. Another three is off. Miller gets the rebound inside. It's blocked, but a foul called on Charlie Gardner. If you're fair view, you want to stay with your game plan. You want to keep attacking the paint, forcing Silo to have to defend on the interior as you're, you have a huge size advantage. Getting yourself to the line again, being able to score with the clock stop will be key. Free throw's good. It's the third foul on Gardner. 
Strader has not scored since early in the contest. Gets both the free throws to go. Proctor kicks it out. Shot goes a little long for Parker. And here come the Jackets with a chance to get it under 10. One of the few misses for Parker today. Oh, Eric pass. And Parker gets the interception and goes the other way, misses the layup. But there's a great hustle by Gardner, who puts it back up and in. He's just been unstoppable around the rim, and he's tied Parker with 19 points. Fairview, you just can't turn it over against this silo team as they're so good in transition. Straighter into the lane. Turn around, misses the shot, and rebound taken down by Hayden Roberts. Traveling called is Connor Cordell had a hard time keeping his feet. Austin Houck with some good defense underneath. Houck. That was a foul or blocked or what? He was actually, they were setting up the lob, so he wanted to make it look like a shot, but Silo did a good job of stepping in front of the offense and creating a, a terrible play right there. Good call. That was a very <laughs> odd-looking situation. Proctor kicks it out, wide open. Count it, another three for Carter Parker. Proctor again, getting in the heart of the defense. Setting up Parker again, knocking down another three. He's been on fire in this, this game this evening. Quick timeout, Mike Barton wants to talk things over. Down 15 here with 2.36 to go. We'll keep it here. Parker, one, two, three, four, five. That was his sixth three-point bucket of the game. Are you looking for a local, reliable propane provider? Earnhardt Oil and Propane has been serving customers throughout Oklahoma since 1971. Let them tailor a pricing option to fit your budget. Avoid winter price spikes with easy pay, steady, predictable monthly payments you can count on. Need more fuel options? They also offer bulk fuel delivery, DEF, lubricants, and supplies for your business, all at competitive prices. For reliability three generations strong, call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Rocket getting the offer from both in-state schools and now taking a trip to Purdue. So the recognition is definitely well-deserved. Yeah. Good for him. Uh, speaking of under the radar, I think this Dale girls team is kind of flying under the radar themselves. They lost the first game of the season in overtime at Preston, and since then they've not lost. Very good ATO after timeout call for Fairview, getting an easy basket in the lane. Two steps, got a substitution that's going to bring Pettis back into the game. Jackson Bernard will bring it up. Good seal inside. Hauk couldn't 
get the bucket to go. Very good seal inside by Pauk, just losing the handle, unfortunately, so he couldn't finish. And a rare miss from Carter Parker. You know Parker's on fire that time when he let it go. The whole entire student sent stood up with the three-point signal. Bernard misses backside rebounds. Been there quite a bit tonight. Strader did a good job in the first half, as well as Bowden Miller. Fairview, they've made a few jump shots, but their best offense has been just getting it up on the rim and being able to pound Silo on the, on the offensive glass. Proctor got caught in the air. Parker was there to bail him out. And the Rebels are content to try to hold this for the last shot. Parker's three is blocked, and that will take us to the end of the third quarter. Silo on top of Fairview by nine, 54 to 43. What would you do if you only had one life to live? Well, that's kind of how this whole thing works. So bite off more than you can chew. Don't wait for someone else's green light. Go after what they say you can't. Oklahoma needs more doers, and doers don't wait. Get skilled, get paid. Oklahoma Career Tech. Kid Drug is second to none in Northwest Oklahoma. We are known for our beautiful home and holiday accessories, women's fashion, toys, candles, expansive kitchenware, and pampering bath and body lines. We offer lovely bridal and baby registries. Come experience our old-fashioned soda fountain treats, including the best malts and shakes you've ever tasted. Our pharmacy has been serving the Fairview and surrounding areas for more than 30 years. We accept most third-party insurance and have a complete line of over-the-counter medications, prescription drugs, and durable medical goods. So come see us at Kid Drug, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8.30 to 3 all right, welcome back. Fourth quarter underway. Silo is going to start it like they finished it. I think been pretty deliberate with the basketball here. Trying to nurse this lead, which is 11. Oh, my. Parker again with the deep three. He is on fire. 25. He really has had an unbelievable night. Baseline drive, Bernard goes in and can't get it to go. And a good rebound by Connor Cordell. Jackets get the rebound. Three, short. Pettis there for the rebound. Oh. Yeah, I think finally the big guy got a call. <laughs> and I got no Pettis, issue with that. Pettis that time catching the break as could have easily been the way this game's been officiated. Could have easily been an offensive foul. Ref this time catches the push. Allowing Pettis to stay in with only three fouls. Three-point bucket for Bowden Miller. 13, lead is back to 11, trading threes here at the start of the fourth quarter. Hauk, who wants it? 
I think they have a timeout. So Silo, in possession, gets the timeout call. We'll take a quick break here. 57 46, 626 to go. All right, welcome back. Let's take a look at some of the finals going on tonight. Broken Arrow Mustang at Shawnee. What do you think about that, Joe? Should be an interesting contest as Mustang, they played a lot of the top teams throughout the state on this Pretty side. Pretty tough schedule. Yeah, so far. So it'll be interesting to see how they hold up with the best team in the state right now, or the number one team in the state, I should say. How about Millwood Westmore? That's a, a, a really good 6A team against an outstanding 3A team in the Falcons. Very good. Number, number one team in in Millwood, it'll be interesting to see if they can withstand the physicality of a 6A more team and the size. Proctor inside. You know, in basketball, of course, not the same as football when you got 22 guys playing. You only got five out there for the most part. And uh, a lot of years, we've seen it this year, it doesn't really matter classification what it is. And Millwood certainly, I think, is a team that, that can go with anybody when they're playing well. Another finish around the rim by Charlie Gardner. He's got 21. Gardner that time just getting it off the glass, pushing the tempo, hitting a nice little five-foot jump shot. Oh, why not, oh, Joe? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> there we go. Nothing wrong with that shot right there. Coach Will looks at Park and says, calm down, but easy coach, on the trigger. Nah, I, got, I, got, I got Parker's side of that all day. <laughs> 15-point lead. You know, he probably knows exactly how many he's got. He's closing in on the 30-point mark. Bernard, tough physical play inside. Bernard playing a little bit bigger than he is. We go to the free throw line for uh, and one. Good job that time as they won a quick post up for Bernard, and he's able to convert the three-point play. You no, know, Fairview doesn't play another offensive rebound here. I think that's a good call. A little... Bernard going to go to the free throw line for two more. If you're Fairview, this is a way to get back in the game because they don't play very fast. They're very deliberate on offense. They're very patient. But the easiest way to come back and make a comeback is to score with the clock stop. So here, you being able to shoot two shots, allow them to close the gap with the clock stop, being able to set up your defense with an aggressive silo team. Bernard misses the free throw. Fairview has left a few points at the free throw yeah, line Yeah, and, and you mentioned the 51% shooting in the year. Now, today, they've been able to get the rebound, so they've actually converted it into points. But to go far and to win big as we come up on the postseason, they're going to have to convert at the free throw line. Yeah, points is off, point, points off misses has been a big st uh, stat, excuse me, big stat today for the Jackets. Coach Wheel is not happy with his team's execution. Uh, calls a timeout and wants to talk things over with them. 5.06 to go. Silo on top of Fairview by 12. Jensen's of Fairview is celebrating 91 years. Currently, special pricing and financing available on select GMC and Buick units in stock. Hurry, as these units and offers won't last. Jensen's, the best prices in Northwest Oklahoma on your new and used vehicles. So come see why generations of customers have been choosing Jensen's to serve their automotive needs. Same family, same business, same location for nine decades. Go Jackets!
All right, Joe, I know we've talked a lot about this tonight, but in Class 4A, this is an unbelievable evening for basketball. This is a state tournament semifinal night because you have at Deer Creek, or excuse me, at Newcastle, you have Newcastle and Douglas. Those are both top five teams right now. Here you have Tuttle OCS, two top ten teams, and then just right up the road here, Kingfisher and Weatherford, another matchup between two top five teams in Class 4A. So we'll know a lot about that bracket after tonight. Some of those teams playing on their home floor uh, as Newcastle is and Kingfisher is, so we'll see how those work. It will be good to see those kind of matchups and see how those things line up against each other. Ooh, almost an and one for Grant Strader. When you're coming back, you like to see as a coach, you want to see him convert that and, and make that an and one, but he'll still go to the line on a great hustle, shooting two. Weatherford, C.J. Nixon, another missed free throw, uh, picked up an offer from Oklahoma in football just this past week. So, Joe, he's going to have some choices about what he wants to do in the future. It'll be interesting because he's a kid that loves basketball as well. I don't know if it'll play a part in him making a decision if he'll want to try to play both or will he just dedicate himself to one sport, in, which would probably be football because – He's much better and will be much highly recruited in that sport. He's 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, He's got a nice game. He can shoot it from the outside. But with that frame already, you know, tight end, you would think it would be pretty good. But if he would grow any more, I don't know. It, you know, I like his game on the, the floor, uh, hardwood. Cross-court pass, Cordell misses the three. There you got a chance to get within single digits. Coach Will probably would like to see his team be a little more patient, and if someone was going to take that shot, he'd probably rather be Parker or Gardner the way this game has been going so far. Strader got to the rim, kicks it out for a three. Hamer misses. Framey misses, excuse me, and... There is another offensive rebound, and count it. No basket. Oh, wow. Do not know. Fairview again just mauling the offensive glass as their best offense on the night has been just getting it to the rim. If, if they haven't turned it over, they've been really efficient on the offensive end because they've just able to get it on the rim and get putbacks. One and one, and that's the fifth. That was the fifth foul on Connor Cordell, so he is fouled out. Free throw goes in. Seven for Hauk. Make it eight. And it's back to nine. <laughs> Pettis picked up a foul underneath. He did, and that's his fourth on the free throw. Team fouls, quite a discrepancy here. It is seven to two. It's only the second team foul on Fairview. That time, Pettis just kind of clearing out the offensive player if he was boxing him out. You would, as you don't want that because you had a made free throw. Jackets pick up a turnover. See the group in white, the Dale student section coming to get ready to support their girls basketball team. The basketball boys there, number one team yeah. in the state. Ten count, getting there. Oh, that is, that's an offensive foul. I believe that's four on Gardner. And so that's a tough break, man. Fairview is just hanging around, and the Rebels are a little complicit with keeping them in this game. Silo's got to gain their composure again. 
in this game as they've had a few quick shots on offense, now a few turnovers, not getting any quality shots, and it's kind of allowed Fairview to get back in this game. We should have a really good crowd here for the two championship games tonight. Steele, Parker, going the other way. And he connects from close range, 27 for Carter Parker. Big time steal and finish for Parker, but tough break for Fairview as they're trying to crawl back in the game. Just an unforced error right there on the turnover, converted into a quick two points for Silo. Straighter on the drive going to the basket, he's fouled. If you're silo, you don't want to foul as much as they're fouling here. As they're putting Fairview at the line, giving them opportunities to score with the clock stop, extending this game. Straighter into double figures with 10. Got them both. See what Fairview could do with the pressure. Silo now going to a little four corners offense as they're spreading the floor, forcing Fairview to chase. And Wheel calls a timeout. We'll take it with him, wants to go over and make sure that his team Gets a good shot. Full time out here. Silo by nine, 2.42 to go. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405 217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. At Bank Central, our roots run deep with a heritage that began over 100 years ago in Alva, Oklahoma. Today, our legacy continues to grow, not only in Alva, but in the other communities we serve, Cherokee, Woodward, and Enid. With our outstanding personnel, the latest in banking technology, and a wide variety of services, Bank Central has the banking expertise to help you with all your financial needs. We're Bank Central, and we're centered on you. Member FDIC. Silo inbounds. We'll see what Coach Wheel has instructed his team to do here. Almost a steal. Strader may have overran that. I'm sure Coach Wills probably told his team, no more three-point shots. We're going to just force Fairview to foul. So either a wide open layup or get to the free throw line. Fair, Fairview has five to give before there's a bonus situation. So they have the luxury of being very aggressive here. One thing about Fairview, because of their, their size advantage, they're not as quick. So now being behind, they're chasing in. You see the speed advantage of, of Silo. Another timeout. I don't think that they were very happy about that ball going to the corner. It's a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 2.06 to go. When your business is agriculture, you want a bank behind you that doesn't cut and run at the first sign that there will be some tough times ahead. There are good years and there are always bad years. At Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma, we're here for them all. Agriculture, it's the backbone of our local community. We believe in it, we invest in it. We're here for the long haul. If you're in agriculture, it's time to let Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma make your best even better. Contact a loan officer today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma, the area's leading lender in agriculture. Why be a ranger? At Northwestern, with small classes, you can be seen. With over 40 programs from business to nursing, you can be career driven. With a campus home away from home, you can be independent. With over half our students graduating without student loans, you can be debt free. And with a mosaic of 
All right, we're back underway. 205. Proctor dribbling around a double team, and it's stolen. Strader going to go the other way and lay it up. Seven point game. Very good steal that time, man. Strader picks the pocket of Proctor. Fairview now setting up the 2 2 1 full court press. They're in the corner again. That's a good job to get out of trouble. And a nice pass inside. Oh, Pettis was lurking. And there's a three on the way short. And an ill-advised shot from Parker. He's been so hot in the corner. But straighter step through. No rebound goes to Fairview. As we said, Tylo is just kind of keeping Fairview in this. Straighter in the lane, short. Rebound comes to Pettis in the lane. Got it. Automatic from in there. Caden Pettis now with 11. Quick timeout for Fairview. And Joe, it's a five point game. Fairview doing a good job, just not quitting. Keep playing, probably playing a little bit. Changing the style of play as they're having to extend their pressure, forcing turnover. Silo in this fourth quarter just has kind of lost their poise, and the four corners may have made them a little more st stagnant, take the aggressives and out. Now they're just going to have to go win this game, make a few plays. Always a ton of discussion about the shot clock, uh, and a lot of opinions on it out there. Of all the games that I've seen covering high school sports, teams that really try to stall, it usually works against them. It's just difficult to handle the basketball for long periods of time without turning it over. Yeah. Well, it's just so hard because, you know, when you have so much pressure, you have teams You're that also going against – you're doing something unnatural. Yes. You, you, know, you practice to score yes. uh, all the time and, and set plays, but it, I, I don't think teams spend a lot of time practicing on the delay. Um, so it's interesting. Proctor has it. We we'll start to play the foul game here. As we've got four more fouls to give before we go into the bonus. And that is the inbounds player 22, Daxton, da excuse me, Daxter Thomas is a freshman. You might start to think about putting some of the younger players on the line. Hayden Roberts, another starter, also a freshman. Substitution up off the bench. Reed Martins comes in for Pettis. And that's a good move while they're going to take some fouls here. Pettis is not a guy you want to foul. That is a travel that they missed. So we'll have two more fouls and then one and one, which you got to like that if you're Fairview. You've got three opportunities to rebound a miss without a second opportunity. <laughs> Oh, wow, that ball was almost stolen inside. Layup, missed! Oh, Parker. Missed! Parker gets the second one to go. <laughs> Parker, as he shot it well from three all day, str struggled with, with the layup right there, but able to rebound his own miss and put it back in. That might be enough to do it, but I'll tell you what, that first miss, you started to think that, oh, my goodness. Parker's going for, for 30, and he's got it. We had a foul call here. Before the bucket? Yes. Foul of Proctor here at half court. Carter Parker is not going to be happy with that. Inbounds to Proctor. Proctor throws it to Noah. Proctor with the ill-advised pass there, leading to a Strader. turnover. Good job by Thomas to get in his way, but Strader now has 15, and the lead is five. Wow. This game is just not <laughs> Kind of ceases to amaze me. Full timeout. We'll take it with him. Silo up by five, 24.3 to go. Scott Streller and team have been proudly serving the Edmond community for over 30 years. 
At the Stroller Agency, we take pride in offering premier service and the highest quality insurance available. Auto, home, life, and more. Our award-winning team has over 150 years combined experience to offer, and we're always working hard to make sure you never have to worry and always have peace of mind. So call or visit StrollerAgency.com today for your custom quote. Gardner and Parker have 50 of the Rebels 65 tonight. They've had a really good evening. There's Gardner, gets it and he will be fouled. And this is the bonus finally. Offense, defense, and fouls. Pettis is back in for Hauk. Gardner makes the free throw. Got them both. Strader with a wild one. Gardner gets the rebound and throws it away. It comes back and makes a steal. Wow. That will be it. Good ball game, 67 to 60. The final, Silo wins it over Fairview. Joe, final thoughts? I thought it was a very well-fought game. Both teams played well as Silo got off to an extremely quick start in pressing the tempo, forcing Fairview to play catch up the entire game, not really being able to take advantage of their inside presence. And the two guards for Silo were phenomenal as they for combined for 52 points in this, this game. Yeah, that was a heck of a ball game for them. Carter Parker led the way for Silo with 29, 23 for Charlie Gardner, 10 for Kyle Proctor. Connor Cordell added three before fouling out, and Hayden Roberts had two. For Fairview, they were led in scoring by Brant Strader with 15, 13 for Bowden Miller, 11 for Caden Pettis, 8 for Austin Houck, 6 for Jax Bernard, and 5 for Reed Martins. Fairview is now 7-6 and six on the season. The Silo Rebels are now 10 and 6 on the season. We'll take a timeout here. We will, uh, I guess, show you the trophy presentation here for third place. Then it'll be the championship in the girls' bracket between Dale and Silo, a rematch of a state tournament game from a year ago, right here on Squirtle.tv. Stream with Pioneer Eye Video and more. Live, recorded, on demand all in HD.